Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from Team Blast. And today I'm gonna to go over what a garage repair company can do better to rank in Google Maps, Bing Maps, and also traditional website rankings. Hope you guys enjoy. First thing I always do is use Local Falcon and I ran the report for garage door repair. What I'm looking at is who is ranking as position one, two, or three. That's the map pack. That's the SOLV share of local voice. That's really what you wanna get into because that means I'm gonna be a page one listing. So I'm gonna take Murphy overhead doors as the example. You can see they have a lot of green, but their share of local voice is under 50%. What I always do is I like to click on the compare locations and I'm gonna compare them to the top listing. I do this for all of my clients as well. This is a great way to get an idea of what you can do to rank better. So what I always start off with is they both have a 518 area code. That's great. Albany, New York, that's the area code. Actual URL, this isn't a big deal, but basically one uses UTM tracking, the other one doesn't. Um, it, that doesn't make any difference. Um, reviews are super close, 150 versus 165. Then you got garage door supplier, garage door supplier, and also door supplier. Again, very similar. And from the service level, you can see one is at 76%, the other one is below 50%. Service level, not much to really take from this. Let's zoom out a little bit and let's look at another listing as well. So let's look at number, how about Capital Overhead Door LLC. Compare businesses, same thing, 518, that's great. Display URL, uh, one shows it, one does not. Reviews, much more on the left, um, about 100 more. Garage or supplier, everything like that looks pretty much the same. So if this was a client of mine, what I would do is actually go through probably about you know five more listings just to get an actual list. But from the compare standpoint, I can already tell that Murphy overhead doors, pretty good, right? 518 area code, a lot of great reviews, a high rating score, good categories they have. So from a service level, things are pretty good. But we're gonna get into a little bit more things of what they can do from Google My Business and also Bing and talk a little bit about website rankings as well. Let's look in a brand search for Murphy overhead doors. Even though that the term that we're looking at is garage door repair, let's look at them from a brand search perspective. So Murphy overhead doors, you Google that, you're gonna get their knowledge panel on the right hand side, that's great. What I always do is go through photos first. So let's look at some of their photos and I'm gonna move my, I'm gonna actually make my screen a little bit smaller so you can see. A lot of great photos, um, not positive uh, how many of these are stock or not, but these are some high quality photos. One thing I would always recommend if you can is to have photos of the team actually doing the project and doing the work. That's a great way to build trust from users because right now, when I look at this, I see some great stuff, beautiful photo three years ago. If you have photos of the team doing the work, that'd be great. Um, things I also like, they show their address. This is huge. Um, I can't tell you how many times I come across listings that don't show an address so you guys have it that is critical i can see exactly the outside of their location you can click into this box here um this is a big part so you can see this is the actual address let me find it it is somewhere around here right right here oh cool okay perfect so as you guys can see that's the business that's the address you can go to it um, that builds a lot of trust let's uh go back Garage door supplier, that's great. 518, we know that too. Uh, for hours is 8 a.m. to 4.30. Now I'm actually curious, but I, what I like to do is go back into Local Falcon real quick. Let's look at this uh, top one from Precision Overhead. I'm just curious that they will um, tell me what the hours are if I click into that. I bring up hours because, um, let's see, they're open 24 hours, okay. Kind of what I thought. The reason why I share this is that hours are a ranking factor. Um, so if you are 24 hours, if you have that as an uh, advantage, it really will help with your rankings, but you can't just put down 24 hours if that's not the case. Cause hypothetically, let's say if I break my garage door at two in the morning and I call one of these listings and they're actually not open, I get a voicemail that says our normal hours are, let's say nine to five. I can then submit that as feedback back to Google. And then, you know, either that could be changed. Um, or if a lot of people start to notice that it actually kind of lowers the trust signal for Google because they're saying, hey, you're saying you do business at two o'clock, but we have user feedback, which is a ranking signal um, telling me otherwise. So just, you know, one 24 hours, one is not. Let's go back into their listing as well. Anyway, so we have great reviews. Um, they have some questions. Let me go into reviews real quick. Let's take a look, 150 reviews. I always go to the newest. You can see four days ago, this is great. I really like this. 
people leave reviews. You guys are doing a great job getting reviews. And also as the owner, you are responding to reviews. That's great. I talk about this all the time. These reviews are perfect because their people are sharing their um, experience with your company. It's a lot of trust. Um, it's not just someone saying five star and that's it. It's just, it's great. So really good job there. Now they have questions and answers. That's that's important here. Someone has like a specific question. So they answer that if they can or can, that's good. Here's some things though that are missing. I can already tell. Actually, there's three things that stand out to me. First, there are no products right here. Products are important because they're a showcase for what you, uh, what you offer. Number two, the description here is actually very small. You can have, I think, up to 750 characters here. This is very tiny. You want to say exactly things like, you know, serving Albany and Schenectady and Rensselaer and Troy and wherever else. You can get really specific uh, with this. So I would actually encourage you to build that out and say exactly where you do your business. Uh, and finally, there's no updates here. Updates are great because updates are keeping the Google My Business active with things you're sharing, projects you've worked on. It's also a ranking signal too, because you can get pretty specific and say, we just did a project out in Troy, New York. Um, and now right there, like Google can kind of crawl that and say, okay, this business is in Albany. Troy is a few miles north of it. Um, I can tell now that like, they do garage repair for you know residents in and around Albany. It's a great ranking signal. Now I'm signed in, so mine's gonna look a little different than what you see. But the products here, the updates and the description are just kind of some you can use that as a baseline. My products are right over here. I have a carousel of products, so you can click into, let's say, NYC local SEO and talk a little bit about what this is. You can visit the site, it goes right to that page. It's a ranking signal. I have a longer description, and you can see here I'm using my updates to my advantage. I'm sharing you know, client results, I'm sharing things I'm doing on my website. So if you are a the garage door company, you can actually do the same thing. Let's just do a quick Bing search, Murphy overhead doors. You can see here I'm signed in uh, to Bing. So you get the map at the very top, that's great. And you get the knowledge panel on the right hand side. So a couple things about Bing, just so you guys are aware, um, you can sync the changes from Google My Business into Bing, that is great. Um, Cause it saves about like 90% of the work, but there are things that you can do that Bing is a little different. So one is you can see you have Angie rev um, reviews from uh, third party websites into their knowledge panel. Bing will pull anything they can except for Google. So think about that. If you are um, the garage or company, find a way to get people to leave reviews on Yelp, TripAdvisor, Angie's List, etc. Um, these, uh, these are gonna be brought into Bing's knowledge panel. So it's actually very, uh, very helpful. So don't only just focus on Google reviews, focus on just getting reviews. Google will show the Google reviews. Bing will show everything else or most of everything else. Um, this is a service areas Albany. So I, I, I highlight this because you can actually get pretty specific within Bing. You can get specific too in Google, but Bing will actually show the service areas. So if you go back into your Bing business profile, you can actually specify things like Rensselaer, you know, East Greenbush, Troy, New York, Schenectady, um, anywhere else really. Um, so I would actually really encourage that. Don't just focus on Albany because if you do projects outside of it, you can also list that there too. Same thing, the description can definitely be at least 750 characters because you can uh, copy that over from Google. So just make sure you're doing that. And you guys actually do have social profiles here. So that's interesting. So you have a Facebook and you have a YouTube. I would bring that also into your Google My Business account. Again, not that social activity is gonna help with Google or Bing, but these are things though that are going to sort of help um, build out the uh, the knowledge. So, so we're, anyway, so we're going over a couple things now. So we went over some Google stuff, some Bing stuff as well. Let's look at the website. All right, I'm here on the website. Now, here's some changes that you can do to really rank better for the garage door repair. Remember, we're going back into the, uh, I think it was this one right over here. The target term that we're going after here is garage door repair. So when you have service here, if you click onto it, you have residential garage door service. If you search for the phrase garage door repair, it doesn't come up. That's an opportunity. So if I was them, you know, residential uh, garage door service, garage door repair. Actually, if you look at this, I wonder if they even use the word repair, they don't. So that is, they can either do one or two things here. They can either update this page and say residential garage door repair service. Uh, that would be important. 
Um, you can also then build out a new page if it's a completely different service. Another thing that they can do is right now their URL just simply says new page. So that would actually just be, again, residential garage door uh, repair service. And you can say then hyphen Albany, New York, um, or you can say you can get even more semantic there. You can have you can list up all the areas that you um, that you service uh, in and around Albany, New York, all on this page here. Another thing you can see here is that your title tag is about. What do I mean by that? So if you go into your view page source, move my screen over so you guys can see. I'm gonna search for the phrase title. Title here is about. So the title is gonna be a ranking factor for both Google and Bing because again, when you connect your Google My Business account um, and you're going over garage or repair, they, they need to see that chapter on your website. So what I would do is I would update the title tag here to say garage door repair service hyphen Albany, New York. I would have that as my meta name description. I would then go into the page itself and make sure like that phrase is here in the H1 tag. So if I go into the inspect tab here, this is a ranking factor. Let's see if they have it. This is a span. I don't think, no, this is not an H1. So that would make that an H1 instead of just a paragraph. No, it is the H1, sorry, this is the tag. I would again, make that residential garage door uh, repair service. Then another thing that I would do is I would list off all the locations on this page of where you operate. So you, you see things like you do extensive service in the capital district and surrounding 25 mile radius. You can get really specific and list off every town on this page that will help with the rankings. Uh, finally, uh, down here. Now I like this. I'm a big fan of putting the map into the footer of websites. I like that. But this is not the Google My Business map. And I know that because if I click into it, nothing happens. This is just like a, like a, I guess it's map box. I'm not sure. Uh, what I would do is go back into your Google My Business listing. I would click into this uh, map over here. And what you would do is you go to share and you want to grab the HTML. Oops, let's try that again. Share, embed map. Now you can change the size, medium, small, or large. Let's just keep it at medium. This is the HTML here. You want to copy that and you want to put that into the footer. You want to do that for a couple of reasons. One, now Google's going to see the connection between their Google My Business account back into the website. So it's going to be a ranking factor. Two, as a user now, if I'm on the website, I can click right into that. And I can go right to your listen. So imagine if I'm on my phone, I come across your website. I'm like, this is perfect. Um, I need to meet with these people, or I'm just curious where they are in relation to where I am. You can click into that, you'll get right to their Google My Business page. Um, that would be critical as well. And let's look at a couple other things too. Oh yeah. Um, I would also list off, um, so business hours, this is, this is actually a, a big tip right over here. Don't just say weekdays, 8 a.m. to 4.30. Look at how it's actually being, um, uh, displayed within Google and Bing. And if they're different, then do the same. You can see here that Google is Monday, spelled out Monday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You want to do the same thing on yours. You want to go into your footer and say Monday, 8 a.m. to 4.30, all the way through. Simply having just weekdays is this, it's, it's losing a signal, essentially. Google can really benefit from making sure that they know these are your hours and your days are open, everything like that. That's pretty much that's pretty much it. Um, I think overall, there's a lot of good things going on with this website and they have a Google My Business account. They have a big places for business. They show their address. They have great reviews. They have good photos. The owner responds to reviews. They have Q and A's. They have a lot of good things going. But I do think though, for the phrase garage door repair, I do think that since the website does not mention that on this page here, it could be a real benefit to kind of updating this and then when Google looks at the website and the Google My Business account, they'll be able to really tie those two things together. And then you can take it a step further, as I said, with your product, and you can actually list it off right over here as garage door repair. And you can go into a brief description and you can link out to it to that page that has the phrase garage door repair on it. So there's a lot of opportunity here. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video to be helpful and interesting. Always feel free to reach out or leave a comment if you guys found it to be uh, worthwhile. Uh, thank you for watching and as always have a good rest of your day. Views here, you can click onto that. Um, you can see that Bing is pulling